Hello boys and girls, my name is Mrs. Messina and I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Ladies and gentlemen, so for the future we are going to be learning about the artist named Georgia O'Keeffe and we are going to be using the colors in her artwork to create our own warm color and cool color flowers. But that will be for next time. Today we are going to just focus on the base which is the p drawing of the pollen and drawing of the petals and of course our leaf leaves. As you can see that the leaves and the petals and everything else in our drawing takes up most of our paper. To save you time in the long run, instead of coloring this all with black marker, we're going to create contrast by using black construction paper. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we're first gonna have our white piece of paper. We're gonna have it vertical, up and down. And I'm gonna be using a marker so that way you can see, but I want you to make a, use a pencil just in case you make an oops. So first thing that we are going to be doing, we are gonna be making the pollen for our sunflower. So first, you are gonna to go to the middle of your paper, the top middle, then, Watch first, you are going to need making a curve. So, we're first in the middle of the top middle of our paper, we're going to put a dot. Then, on the right side of our paper, we're going to have three fingers spread wide. We're going to have our three fingers up and down. Now, see my pointer finger right here? We're going to put a dot underneath that pointer finger. So, you have a dot up in the middle and then a dot on the side. Now we are gonna be using that wavy line to make a curve and connecting the dots. As you can see, my waves are made up of large U's. So it kinda of looks like we have a corner in our sky, actually a cloud in our sky. All right. Now, we are going to be making the petals. Now, when we do the petals, please, this is our piece of paper. And let me move my camera. We want to make sure that our petals are not super tiny like this. And if you notice, see how it looks more like a wavy line? We want to make sure that we can pinpoint each individual petal. So. What we are going to be doing, we're going to be in the middle of our pollen, we're going to be making one large petal. See how it takes up about half of my picture? To make sure that your petal is not super skinny, you're going to have three fingers put together and you're going to make sure you could fit it inside. If it's a little bit small, make sure you change it to make it bigger. If you notice that's a little bit bigger, that's totally fine. So after you make this petal, you are going to keep on creating more and more petals. Notice this is one piece, this is one piece, this is one piece. You want to make sure it doesn't look like one whole piece. So you're going to bring that all the way to the other side. All right, as you can see, I have one row of petals. And again, they are not connected. After that, we're gonna be making some more layers. So again, we're gonna be making more petals, making sure I could fit three fingers in the inside of each one. And you're gonna bring that all the way to the edge. If you notice you have a lot more room over here, you can add another row, or you can even add a couple more puddles. They could be a little bit smaller. And if you feel like there's some nooks and crannies that might need an extra petal, definitely do that. Afterwards, we are gonna be making the leaf. Now we're going to be using a texture line or a zigzag line to make that rough look of a leaf. So we're going to have four fingers together. We're going to go to the middle bottom of our paper. One side of our hand, we're going to put a dot. 
other side of the hand, we're going to put another dot. We're going to use a zigzag line to connect back to our petals. Then, after that, we are going to be using our pencil to draw lines inside our leaf to show the veins or where the water soaks up the, I mean, the plant soaks up the water, okay? After you are done with this, you are going to trace with Sharpie. Can't wait to see your flowers, boys and girls. Have a nice day.